Welcome back to our series on how to prepare a business plan. In this video, we think about the market and about marketing. The section on market analysis is about where you're selling and who you're selling to. A market is where buyers and sellers meet. Markets can be physical places or online. Research your market. You can find a wealth of data about customers and industries by going to stats.govt.nz and searching for data for business. Knowing your market well means you'll have a better idea of the environment and what's likely to work. What opportunities do you see? How much revenue could they generate? Be really clear about who your market is so you can target your audience effectively. For example, do you know their ages and incomes? What are their interests and values? Talk to your target audience, don't just research them online. Let's move on to the section about competitors. You'll need to know who yours are and where their strengths and weaknesses lie. Will you be competing against many small businesses or a few big ones? Do thorough research and experience their product or service firsthand. Buy from them, try their services, or get someone else to. The next section is SWOT, which stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. Strengths and weaknesses are within your business and within your control. A strength might be knowing how to motivate people. A weakness might be a team that doesn't work well together. Opportunities and threats are external and beyond your control. An opportunity might be a growing interest in what you're selling. A threat might be difficulty recruiting. How will you make the most of your strengths and opportunities and overcome your weaknesses and threats? The last section for this video is about how you'll market your product or service. Marketing is about how you get customers to buy your product or service. It's everything from product development to how you tell people about your product or service to where you sell and for what price. Marketing has two parts. One is the launch, which is about attracting new customers. Customers won't come to you just because you have a shop on the street or a website. How will you tell them about your product or service? What will the marketing cost? The other part of marketing is ongoing marketing. Make sure your existing customers remember you and keep returning. That's it for this video. Join us in our next video when we talk about financials, keeping your business going, and compliance.